All right, today's topic is how to get rid of scars using natural oils. So I have, if you've been following my videos, you know what happened here. So I had um, open heart surgery and everyone looks at me with my weight and says, oh, you had bypass, didn't you? And that's just pissing me off because uh, this was a congenial birth defect, which means, well, I should have said congenial heart defect, which means the birth defect. And I've had this murmur, uh, which it's a heart murmur. That's how you know about it. I've heard all the way back to 1990 people, doctors have told me, and I think even further, but that's the first time I can remember. So basically what happened is my aortic valve, so you're supposed to have three, three flaps that open and close. I can't demonstrate it. Anyways, I only had two and the third one was missing. So instead of having three, it only had two. I <laughs> know that's no good, but that was allowing backflow instead of pushing it all forward, closing, pumping more in, opening up, pushing it out, closing. It was not closing all the way and it was allowing stuff back in to the heart. And so I thought, well, mostly everyone else in my family is slender and not overweight. and I'm much heavier than the rest of them. Maybe this is what caused that. Who knows? But I know I've had like supposedly asthma, bronchitis all those things all my life and I don't have any of those it's it was this so what happened was February 3rd 2014 for those of you that don't know um, actually in December it was um, congestive heart failure and I was filling up water I thought it was bronchitis I went to an ENT after the regular doctors couldn't help me and it went from there it turned out uh, the air valve was failing I should have brought the picture. I'll put a picture online eventually. I have a picture of the valve after they removed it. And uh, they also, because maybe because of that, who knows, I had an aortic artery aneurysm. So they put a Dacron tube in there to replace that. Mechanical valve, uh, because I'm young enough that a regular valve will uh, fail. Biological valve will fail in my lifetime. So I had both of those put in. I can hear it ticking. Um, one thing I keep forgetting to tell people is, um, everyone thinks, oh, you had a bypass, everything was clogged up. No, I specifically asked my doctor about that, my heart surgeon. And he said, no, he said, all my arteries look really good, very little stuff in them. And I could contribute that to my changes since I was age 38 in 2003, when I started going downhill, having all kinds of health problems, a healing crisis, look that up. And in February 2004, which is kind of ironic because I had the surgery in February, um, I started doing all the natural cleanses, all the cl cl cleaning out my colon, taking uh, CoQ10 and all these other things. And my doctor said I should have been dead a year ago. So, and I had that, you watch my bronchitis video with the x -Fair? that was this coming on. And I contribute the CoQ10, the stuff with it, all the other things to probably give me that extra year because it would have happened last year. So let's get to the subject. Uh, I've had, I've worked in the food industry, I've worked in kitchens, I've raised chickens, I've had cuts, burns, all up and down my sides here. I'm sorry, let me silence my phone or it's because it's gonna keep making noise. So anyways, uh, I've had burns, I've had cuts. I picked a chicken up by the neck because it was fighting with another chicken. She clawed me right across here with a big old scar. Nothing, and those are from, uh, that's, uh, and. Band-Aid adhesive from when I, I had the paramedics take me in Tuesday because I was feeling really bad, getting lightheaded, all this stuff. And it turned out just to be muscle cramps, some muscle spasms because they, they split my sternum and it's still healing. So the only thing I have left is, oh, it's not even there. I used to show it to people. There might be a little burn mark right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's really gone. That was a third degree burn where I touched uh, part of an oven and it bubbled off. And here's what I did to get rid of it. So I told you about the coconut oil in the past. So I'm gonna use this coconut oil. It's organic, unrefined, cold pressed, extra virgin coconut oil. That's what you want. Make sure it's the good stuff. I get this at Costco. If the words are backwards, it's because the bathroom is small and I'm shooting into the mirror. The camera's behind me coming at an angle so everything's gonna be backwards. Here's Gamma E Complex. This is all eight natural vitamin E's. You want to read the label here on the vitamin E's, and this is uh, it's natural D alpha, 
or if it says uh, DL, it's the bad stuff, fake. So here's, I use this because I have these. You can get it liquid, bulk, whatever. Because my uh, heart surgeon said, no, stay off of these for now. So I get my INR because the bummer of a mechanical is I have to be on cumin and a blood thinner my whole life because even though it's a Dacron, a polymer mechanism, you know, the heart valve, it can cause blood clots. So that's the bummer. The other thing is lavender oil, essential lavender oil. Make sure you get one that's not cut with chemicals. Research the company. So these are, these are the three things I did to get rid of this bird, no scar, and to get rid of these, especially that big chicken one. So here's all you do. Now I'm gonna kind of compress this for you. Normally I do this longer. Now, can you see these right here? That's the pick line I had to have an IV in my neck the entire time I was in the hospital. And these are related, related cuts to that. So what I do is I just take a little bit of coconut oil, and if it's hard, it'll start melting in your hand. Above 76, it'll start melting. So I just liberally apply it. You know, get some in there, let it melt. And, uh, all right. So with the, uh, uh, with the medium cut here, the big one, the midline, I waited for this to heal over, scab off. You just gently put some on here. Uh, and I got something sticking out there. They said it's a scab, but I think it's, uh, someone else mentioned it might be part of the suture sticking out. Because it's not falling off and it's hard, like plastic. So you just apply some of that on there. Get that. These two holes down here, if you can see them, those are the the lines. Uh, it was where the um, the chest tubes were to drain fluid out of my chest after surgery, because that's really common. All right, so I put on that. Next, I usually I don't have a towel in here. Usually I don't like to mix the oils on my hands, but Oh well. So get some of this. I just put a few drops between a couple fingers. It's actually a lot is what I just applied on there. So I just rub it down. If you're not sure, you know, just put a little bit more on there. And usually I let, let these dry between applying them. But uh, if you're in a hurry, it works. So then the vitamin E, use whatever works for you. Don't cut yourself. Whoa! Oh, that shot right at the camera. <laughs> oh, don't kill my camera. It's a waterproof camera, but still, I don't want vitamin E on it. So anyways, I just squeeze a little bit of this out. I got some on the back side of my finger. The oxygen tube makes it real fun. All right. And I'm going to use an entire one of these. The vitamin E is really good. Now, the thing is, I, I used to do this once a day, and it didn't really kill up my wounds that fast. So I would do this three or four times a day. You know, I'd let this dry, you know, and when I was at work, you know, I couldn't do it in the kitchens at work. So, because your hands have to be sterile. So I would do it in the morning, I would do it in the evening a couple times, bedtime, and, uh, it got rid of these on my arms. You know, I all said I wanted to record those to show people. And I just never did. So here's another opportunity for me to record and show you this. So I'm going to do one of these every week. I'm going to apply this vitamin E every day. And I'll record the changes once a week. So that's it. And if you see someone that had heart surgery, don't assume... And if they're overweight, don't assume it's because uh, they ate bad and, and had to have a bypass. Because, oh, I got vitamin E on these fingers. Because there is uh, all kinds of reasons. Birth defects, a million different things. So, I'm doing good. I knew this was coming. No matter how good I ate my whole life, I could have been a vegan. And this was coming. No way to change it. Couldn't stop it. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. Please give us a thumbs up and uh, watch for the next video.